Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. As always, check out link in the description. Watch the previous videos or you may be a little confused on what's going on. Uh, but here, if you go to uh, the links in the description of this video, you will see one for this GitLab page. If we go into examples, there's one called Proximity Barrels. And uh, so you can download that, give it a try. I've downloaded it. I'm in that directory. Again, we can type in gzdoom-file dot meaning the current directory so it's going to look at the scripts of this file then i'm just saying this the startup doom 2 and go to the first level what uh the what we're doing today is what it sounds like is just barrels that are proximity barrels uh we've replaced our zombie men with barrels and uh you can just shoot them and they act like normal but if you were to get close to them they blow up when you get close to them. So that's the proximity part. Let's go ahead, and again, you can just download the code and go for example. I'm gonna move into a directory here where I have empty files. Again, I have my scripting file here, uh, my Zscript file, which just says, you know, the version of uh, Zscript we're using, and we're going into load our proximity barrel file, which currently is empty. Oh, I thought it was empty. Let's go ahead and empty it out. <laughs> And what we're going to do here is just to show you how I went about creating this, we're going to go back to our main directory on the GitLab page here and go to Extras, Actors, and then we're going to find the one for Barrels, which may be under Decorations, Lamps, let's see, Barrels, there we go, Barrels. So this is the code for Barrels right here. Uh, actually, actually, that's a burning barrel. Actually, let's go back up uh, to examples. I found it. it's not in that file. And we're going to go to extras, actors, and it's actually under Doom Miscellaneous right here. And here we go, exploding barrels. We'll go ahead and copy that and paste that into our proximity barrel. And then in here, we want to rename this. We'll call it proximity barrel and we're going to say that it replaces the exploding barrel actually no we're going to replace our zombie men and we're going to leave all this the same but now down here we're going to add in a quick little function so we have our, our death here and we have our spawn and what we're going to do is in the spawn here you can see here what it's doing is it's saying uh, use this the, the sprite bar one and then it's going to loop back and forth between frame A and frame B with a delay of six. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to break this down and say B six here, and then I'm gonna paste this here. And then we're gonna say here. So it's still looping, it's still going from for the sprite bar one, and it's doing frames A and B with a delay of six. But then we're gonna call this function. Check proximity, okay? And then we're gonna say here, okay, we have what what's gonna happen when what object gets how close. So here we're saying when a Doom player, when the player gets within 64 units, uh, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna to go to the state of death, which is this here. And that's all we have to do. So now the barrel's gonna look the same. So again, we replace zombie men. So wherever there are zombie men, there will be zombie, uh, there will be now be barrels. Any place there was a barrel will still be a regular barrel. So if you wanna replace barrels, I'm just doing zombie men because they're right there when we start up Doom 2. Uh, but we're saying again, spawn, this is looping over and over again until they die. What, but we're gonna check each time, check proximity. How far is the player? Are they within 64 units? If so, just go to death. Of course, we can, we can tell it anything when it gets whatever object gets however close we can do whatever here. But that's really all we need to do. So now we run our script here. And we're doing this with barrels, but you could make projectiles. Like we did a grenade launcher in the last video. We could do it to where they bounce around and they don't explode unless someone in particular gets close to them. So maybe you're designing it for multiplayer and maybe you can set it up so a certain player, like the person who shoots it can't detonate it or something. But here we go, boom. And let's go ahead and uh, run that again. I wanna double check something because when I originally did this, that's right. Okay, so we do need to make one more change. We're gonna go back into our file here and the problem is it's 
if you saw, it was exploding and then starting to explode again. So we're going to remove uh, a bunch of this. So what do we have here again? Here we're going to death, and now we're using the sprite of BX, which is for B explode. It's going to go through these frames. And then TNT, I don't know what TNT actually stands for, but it's when basically you want to call a function. Uh, and here they're, they're calling one and then another, but you can actually wrap these in curly braces. So that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to, right here where it says explode, I'm going to delete all of this. And then I'm going to paste in this code. I can actually get rid of this. So again, we're playing this sprite, this frame, these are the delays. Bright just means in a dark room, light it up. Uh, here, it, the scream is going to be its its death sound. It's, it's going to be the explosion. Uh, but then here, uh, we are now just saying, okay, TNT, run this uh, with no delay, bright, but we're going to call explode and barrel destroy, which is what was there before, but calling it this way, I believe, will fix our problem of the barrels exploding twice when we walk up to them, or at least the animation playing twice. Although it doesn't seem like they finished their animation. Let's add back in. There was another frame there that we did cut out, I believe. Let's go ahead and say, make that D. Just tweaking it here. Again, the animation was a little bit off and it's just a matter of putting things in the right order with the right delays so that things don't loop around. There we go, that's better. So now we have proximity mines, proximity barrels that explode and disappear and work as they should. I hope you found this useful. Again, get all the examples here at my GitLab page. This particular example is under examples, proximity barrels. So you can look at that. And as always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.